called John because I had the number at the time. He uh, said that it would be all right if I could come over to London. So I just went to his home in Fulham, knocked the door and uh, we started the interview, had a, a couple of beers. Sid came over with Nancy Spangen. She was pretty annoying, very high-pitched voice and, and very hysterical. And we just hanged around, listening to music all day and smoking and drinking. And that's about it. Tell us about one picture which became famous. It's chilling. This is Sid with a knife to the neck of Nancy. Sid had a knife, which was a, a small knife, actually. He just took it out of his pocket and, and started playing with it. And that's it, but it was just a game. And there was nothing very violent about it. It's chilling now because, I mean, after what happened, uh, he was posing and she was uh, posing as well, and that's it. <laughs> Clearly a great amount of alcohol was consumed. Here's a picture which shows the three of them, uh, Johnny Rotten, Sid Vicious and Nancy, on a sofa surrounded by empty beer cans and they're still working their way through some more. What about drugs? Were there drugs too? Everybody was smoking marijuana, but that's about it. Obviously Sid was on heavy drugs. All these people were 20 years old and Sid, in a very short period, had discovered at the same time sex, drugs and in America and fame, and uh, that was a lot for him, a lot for a 20 years old boy. And it was a very heavy thing for him to take. Say,